Since morning, God has been wonderful. It has been exciting. This is actually a unique convention. I will especially thank God for our parents in the Lord, our Father in the Lord that God has been using to minister unto us. We have been receiving great revelations, illuminations, impartation, and enlightenment. We thank God for the life of our Father in the Lord. That the at the boy. It's time to take our offering, and please get excited when you are giving your offering. And today, I just want to mention three things uh, that will encourage us to do what is expected of us in terms of giving our offering. The first thing I want to mention is that if you have a need, sow a seed. And we all have needs. You know you have a need. You want that need to be met. So a seed. Because God will meet your need if he sees your seed. Because the blessing of God upon the seed meets your need. You remember Anna had a need for a son. And she sowed a seed. And God made him, gave her a special, peculiar son. Samuel came to the scene. So please, if you have a need, sow a seed. There is what we call sowing and reaping, according to Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. The second thing I want to mention is that if God knows that he can flow through you to meet needs, he will flow, always flow to you. And you see this in Genesis chapter 22, if you read from verse 1 of Genesis 22 to verse 18. Genesis 22 verse 1 to verse 18. If God knows that he can flow through you to meet the need of his church, the need of the body of Christ, the need of people, if he knows that he can flow through you, that when he gives you something, he can trust you to be a source of blessing to others. He will always flow to you. He will always ensure that blessings are flowing into your life. That's what he did to Abraham. When he tested Abraham and he discovered that, yes, if he gives Abraham blessing, Abraham will be a channel of blessing, will be a source of blessing. So he blessed him and made him a source of blessing. So allow God to flow through you to meet the need of the church to meet the need of his people by giving a high quality offering. And God will always be flowing through you to be meeting needs. And then the last thing I want you to pay attention to is that there is a need to give with integrity. And you can read Malachi chapter 1 verse 6 to 8. And you see the type of offerings that people do give God, the type of things that people bring to give to God, the almighty God. There is a need to be given with integrity. Integrity is practicing what you believe, what you preach. There are many people who lack integrity in the area of giving. No matter how God has blessed them, when it's time for offering, they just give anything anyhow. Please learn to give with integrity. Give honestly. Give according as God has blessed you. And I believe God has been a source of blessing to all of us. So, beloved, package a very special offering for today. And God will surprise you. I have no doubt that God is going to surprise you and be meeting your needs and be flowing through you to meet needs around. Now, for those of you who are giving online, you can... Go to www.rocg.org, click on online giving and follow the instructions. For others, just look at the screen and you will see how you are to give 
your offering. God bless you, so take your offering. Lift it up before God. Father, we want to thank you for what you have enabled us to give today. And I pray especially for those who are giving with integrity, those who are showing you that you can flow through them to meet needs. Lord, I ask that you bless them specially. Open the window of heaven and bless these your children specially in the name of Jesus. And those who have a need, who are sowing a seed, Lord, please meet them at the point of their need. Give them something special, something unique that they will celebrate, something wonderful. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you as you give. Somebody lift your voice one more time and make some noise. Come on. Oh.